Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you some beginner-friendly ways to improve your Shopify store. I'll be showing you different sections you can add to your website, how to customize different pages like your checkout page, and also effective ways to build an email list, including how to create an email landing page. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. For the first website tip, this can help you to build your email list and promote your email signup to your potential customers. I'll be showing you how to build an email landing page and also how to add an email signup to your website. An email landing page can help to encourage your potential customers to join your email list by displaying the exclusive benefits that they can receive by joining. To get started, here on Shopify, I'll be showing you how to add a new page to turn into your email landing page. You're gonna wanna click online store, then pages. And I'm gonna add a new page. I've titled this page email signup and you wanna make sure that your page is set to visible. Then I'm gonna save this page. Next, I'm gonna go into customize my published theme. And up here where it says home page, I'm gonna click this then click Pages. Then I'm gonna click Create Template. I've titled this Email Signup. Then I'm gonna click Create Template. Then here on Shopify, I'm gonna click Pages again, and I'm gonna open that Email Signup page. Then under Theme Template, I'm gonna assign that new page template I just created. And that's how to make a new page inside your Shopify store. Next, I'll be showing you how to add a link to that page, either here on your main menu or down here on the footer menu of your website. So in Shopify, I'm gonna click Navigation. Then you can choose to either open your main menu or your footer menu. I'm gonna open the main menu. And here, when you click Add Menu Item, this is where you can add new links to your main menu. So I'm gonna click Pages and I'll be adding a link to that email signup page. Then you'll notice those changes here when you open your theme. You can also do a similar process with the footer menu of your website. I'm gonna open my website, then click on the footer bar. And here I'll be featuring the footer menu. This way, when your customers click to check out your email signup page, it will take them directly to the full page. Then I'll be showing you how to customize this page to display your email signup, and I'll also be showing you a way you can help this page tie it into the rest of your website's color scheme. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're gonna receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses. And I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. Next, I'll be showing you a few different sections that you can add to your email landing page to encourage your potential customers to join your email list. I'm gonna start by clicking this title section and this is optional, but I'll be hiding this section. Then here, I'm gonna click Add Section. And I'm gonna start by inserting an image banner. I'll be adding a heading text line to introduce the email list page. Then I'll be adding a mini text description here for this text box. Then I'll be removing these button labels And I'm going to select to remove the container on desktop. You'll have a few other editing options for this section. You can choose to apply a new color scheme. And you could also adjust the banner height. I'll be increasing the image overlay opacity to make the overall background image darker. 
And next, you can choose to add one or two images for the background of this section. And that's how to add a quick introduction banner to your email landing page. Below that banner section, I'm going to click Add Section to Template. And here I'm going to insert an email sign up. When you click on this section, you can choose to adjust the color scheme and also the text for this section. And that's how you can feature an email sign up section. And this last section is optional, but I'll be inserting a rich text. And you can choose to customize this section to feature multiple benefits that your customers can receive by joining your email list. And once you're finished, that is how to make an email landing page inside your website to encourage your customers to join your email list. Next, I'll be showing you a quick way that you can add a simple email signup to your homepage to also promote your email signup. To add an email signup to your homepage, in between sections, you'll want to click Add Section. Here, I'll be inserting an email signup. Then you can choose how you would like to customize this section and edit the text. You can also choose to link the text to your email landing page in case your customers would like to find out more about the perks of joining your email list. That can be a great way to also feature a mini email signup banner on your website's homepage. For this next tip, this can help you to optimize adding recommended products throughout your website. And this will be to add recommended product sections or featured collection throughout your website, including your collection pages. This way, when your customers go to open a collection, when they scroll to the bottom, they can get recommended either a few similar products to that collection or a different type of product that they may be interested in. To start, you'll want to open up one of your collection pages. Here's an example collection I've created with just a few products in it. Right below this product grid, I'm gonna click add a section to template. And here I'll be inserting a featured collection. You'll have a variety of different editing options for this section. Right here under heading, I'll be retitling this section. And you'll have a few other editing options for this text. You can choose to add a mini description to describe the collection that you're featuring, and you can edit the description style. When you click Select Collection, you'll be able to select the specific collection that you would like to feature. You can adjust the number of products that you would like to show and also the number of columns you would like to show on desktop. You can select if you would like to make your products full width. And you can also adjust the color scheme of your featured collection. Under product card, you can adjust the image ratio and the image shape. You can also choose if you would like to add a quick add button.
Also, if in general, you're not too familiar with the use of Shopify, I do have an in-depth Shopify basics guide that has a wide range of sections teaching how to use Shopify, how to set up Shopify payments, how to read your analytics page, launching products, and also how to launch your store. In this guide, I've included video tutorials, written text explainers, and screenshots to help you navigate Shopify and understand each section of the guide. And I will link that in my description box below. Here's an example of the mobile view for this section. Here under mobile layout, you can choose if you would like to display one or two columns at a time. Then you can choose if you would like to enable the swipe on mobile. And once you're finished, that is a way that you can add a featured collection to your collection pages for when your customers get to the bottom of your collection pages. For the next tip, I'll be showing you how to customize your website's checkout page. You want to be sure that your checkout page can tie into the rest of your website. And you can customize your checkout page by adding your logo and also changing the color schemes. Here's currently my website's checkout page. After opening this page, I'm gonna click Customize Checkout. You'll have a variety of editing options for your checkout page. To start, you can choose to feature your logo. Then you can choose if you would like to add a background image to this section. Then you can choose to adjust the background colors for these sections. And then you can choose to adjust the accent colors and also the card and form backgrounds. And once you're finished, those are a few different ways that you can customize your website's checkout page. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.